So now, uh, Yaps are having some some trouble trying to make an impact here. Of course, he's still forcing some movements and stuff here, and perhaps can guarantee this bottom rune. Will he even get it, though, is the question. And uh, the coin says no. There's a high five over the Fisher. <laughs> Team's in good spirit. Crystal Maiden, it, it, she's not the best support right in these situations. In fact, Puppy's even getting ran at right now with that gush early on, the telekinesis, and looking for a first blood here. One more punch. Oh, and Crit going to pick it up as first blood drawn against Puppy. Yeah, and he's off uh, off to a good one again here. Genius. <laughs> Complained uh, the entire time through, definitely. Uh, but still, Sven sitting top. The CS afterwards, after clearing through those Eidolons and the rotation moving in, Fly trying to make sure that Yapsor is not going to be able to be effective with the rotation. Instead, it's mid one that might end up going down. Diabol Heat out, doing a good bit of damage. Is it going to be quite enough? Though EMP draining all the Invoke mana. One Check it. needs it again. It's going to be enough to save him. All Invoker the... at the last second, Fly trying to make it work. Needs another Shadow Poison out, and mid one with that quads is regening through it all. Secret salvage. All right, Absolute I'm just saying disaster. I'm just saying XP streak. Still sitting close to his level six, but not quite there as of yet. And the lift up on the mid one. They want to try and take this guy down. Disruption, building yeah, up the Shadow Poison. Timing. Ravage combination beautifully played by S4 right as the Disruption ends. But Yapsor is there, three stacks. He's going to need at least another one. And it doesn't look like they're going to get it. Another Chronosphere lands down onto two of them. Can they turn this one around on the fly as well? Sumail trying to make something happen. Nisha very, very low, and he will go down. S4 manages to find that kill. And that's a straight grade right back. And finished it. Basically, Dude, simultaneous Puppy moments. is so slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he went the double bracer. Oh he does God. have the, the boot gold now, so he'll be bringing those out. But Crystal Maiden, whew, 279. It's a hard life these days. And from an area of the map that doesn't necessarily get that much play, but it feels like EG have they forced it, right, by the way they're controlling the lanes. Looking for the catch. Nisha going to pop the BKB and just turn to fight. Puppy going to pop the ultimate as well. Isn't it enough to kill off Sumail? I think the answer is yes. And now looking for Fly. Nisha able to make the move for his team. Because they did not anticipate that BKB. And instant smoke, too, from Yaps, where he says, I've got more here. I don't quite have my Blink Dagger, but I want to force a fight where well, we're at the advantage. Mid one chasing. Oh, mid one has a feeling. Crit is going to be the one that's caught, and Arteezy needs to get the heck out of here. If he is not careful, might get killed off afterwards. Tornado going to fight. Oh, the he They're in trouble. Trying to get the time off. Wait, Crit's actually living through it. They follow up the follow up stun, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> Does a little dance for his death. But... So it's okay. Yeah, that's the way to win. He's going to smoke up. He's looking for that initiation for the team. So we Ravage. got Stormhammer, we got Ravage, we got Fly Smoke getting popped by mid one with the now dust they now. they know. Yapsor trying to play interference, but the Ravage comes again from S4. They take him down, and EG pick up another two key heroes. In exactly have an what's idea. Happening. They saw Zai rotating through. Got to be careful. They're baiting one. They realize that crits in the area too, as well as fly jumps forward and Arteezy able to get off to the other side. They only find one in the Chronosphere. That's not good enough, ladies and gents. And now Nisha trying to control it, find that one kill. They have an Echo Slam afterwards if they want to use it. Zai also looking for that opening with the black hole. He has the blink. Can they find the opening? It's not going to be there. Delta split, get the heck out of Dodge. Sumail still living through this one. They've only lost the Shadow Demon so far. And Nisha just trying to run away in secret. Have to escape. They got to get the heck out of here. Fisher connecting. Again, on to two. Can they turn this one? Yapsor falls. And meanwhile, off to the side, S4 just runs away. They dodged it all. They take the field. Smoke up right now. S4 again. They spot out Zai. This could be the man that they want to jump on. Roche, two and a half minutes before it's going to respond. Mm, scouting Sunstrike there from mid one just to ensure that nothing. Oh, they're all grouped together. The jump for it. S4. He finds them all again. They can't come on. The follow up coming though. Nisha's already there. He's trying to take down one. He wants to kill off Grit so they can get a black hole afterwards. The turnaround coming from Zai. Can they kill them all off in the duration of it? Puppy chasing for Arteezy. He pops the BKB, runs to fight, catches out Nisha. Can they kill him off in time? Yeah, I'm sorry with the Apple Slam. The second turnaround. Give him the okie doke and secret still seeing if they can find Sumail, but they're not going to be able to. Of course, just amplifying everything with the attack speed. 33 minutes in, and again, S4 doesn't have the Ravage this time. Nisha up on the low ground, starts to find him, gets the lift up though for the they turnaround. Sunstrike, it's not there. He has Chronosphere, but he just didn't use it. 
And now Chase Ford finds the second round of it. They group apart Nisha, only able to find one, but it might be a good enough one at that. But the disruption coming from Fly, saving his buddy life, need to get the heck out of there. Sumail gets the Yule Scepter lift up, still lives through it, and now Puppy is the one who's going to get caught. And that Chronosphere was not good enough. Crazy Ravage is now deal. back up. Chasing forward, Arteezy finds one, the Ravage again to interrupt, and now the follow-up, they've got Nisha Nova, the Malefice. They can't kill him off in time before he's able to get the jump away. EG find three. Team Secret tried to thread the needle there. Jamail, looking for an opening here. They're also bringing in Arteezy. Dude, this, Nisha these, shows these up. These wards down here oh, God. has been insane. That other ward, Nisha, he needs to be so careful. He jumps away, though, realizing what's going on. The they get the lift up, they jump in, they find the stun, and they get him. Oh, my God, they get him again. He did manage to get buyback gold right yeah, before that. But the, the greed, man, not oh. BKB TPing. I mean, you can't blame him, right? That was just a field TP. But that but means that they know that Sumail, as well as Arteezy, are not here, and they're going to find at least one turnaround kill. S4 moving in, looking for Yapsor, but Sumail botched into this fight. They've caught Puppy with the splitter if they find another kill. Off to the be side. careful about this buyback, though. Oh, not only that, they don't this game is there's a lot of out spam, a lot of damage spells from Secret that don't require a big initiation. Yeah, but now we do have a BKB on uh, Sumail to help replace that Aegis. Oh, crit. They realize he's there. Jumped on him. The score is in the median on top of him. Look at the damage coming that out. That was a mid -hero. Oh, my God. They didn't stand a chance, and Crit looking to try and chase him down. They don't have buyback on the Invoker with the Chronosphere. Do they have any follow-up? They need the Black Hole afterwards, and Zai able to get it onto both of them. The huge combination coming out with the Echo Slam. One more! Secret! They're doing it! Is it going to be enough, though? They're trying to take them down in time. Four step off to the other side, and S4 gets the cheese off. Trying to run back now. They still don't have mid one, but they forced all these buybacks. At this stage, I'm wondering if... The double huge I, I think the double enough. ravages. Puppy. The double ravage is kind of scary for me. Jump, jump, jump. Finds it on a three. Not bad at all. Is it going to be enough, though? They have the destruction. Able to keep him alive. S4 will go down, but Arteezy is the one to live. They buy back on the tide, and they just are going to back out now. But the BKB used from the Sven, and now Nisha department only 1,100 on that tide hunter. Yeah, so just the double pop. Just has to ensure he gets it. And Crit being the one to open up. Arteezy going to get stunned. Nisha, he throws out another Chronosphere. But S4 there with the Ravage to turn this one back around. They have the Chronosphere, but can they get it? Oh my god, the Cataclysm and the second Refresher. Is it going to be enough, though? S4, he's in trouble. He's all alone trying to run away. And is he going to be able to escape with the BKB wearing off? The answer is looking like maybe, possibly, the Chronosphere oh. that was stolen from Crit to turn it back around. And now the jump board, they want to take down Crit, able to save his offlaner at the last second. That cost his buyback, but of course, well worth it with S4 not having one. Hit as of yet. A little bit too scary just walking in there. Got a no ravage. Nisha jumps forward. He finds him. Blink away. Stolen time walk. Tries to jump. Tries to find. Whoa! Break the catch! Is it going to be the kill? They're going to be able to get the black hole turnaround. But where's the damage? They don't have enough. Heal through. Coming through. EG trying to get him. And the break kills on to Zai. Now finding more. The hex is out as well. Who's that puppy going down? Almost killed. One more right click. Finishes him off. Oh, the defensive black hole is not usually the one that you want. As of yet, have not been able to break for Megas. We Nisha. also have the uh, the Agnos picked up for Sumail, too. All right, Nisha thinking about jumping. He has no vision right now. No vision at all. But they're down on the low ground. Does he spot them out? Not quite. They're behind some trees. And oh, he spots them. He gets Nisha. Soul Catcher already out. Looking for the follow-up. Is it going to be oh, right? He gets it in anything at all. The break. He's in trouble. The slowdown. The second one. Nisha going to get caught. Nisha going to be killed. He has 100 seconds away. Now mid one trying to run out of their S4. He has a Ravage back up in a second as well. But they can't quite find him as of yet. Please, things are far too dangerous right now. I, I appreciate this production because you never know. Could this happen. one moment. Notice. Especially when S4 blinks into a creep wave. Jump forward, finds two. That's a good two to get, but the Aeon Disc already proc crit living through this one, trying to find the follow-up. It's going to be there. They take down one. They are going to possibly... No, they can't get Sumail. He's walking away. They find the finish. The black hole dropped down onto Arteezy. It's not enough. They're trying to run away. Is it going to be enough to break the catch the control? He time walks out of there, but now the turnaround. Ben one coming through with the... Woo! Forward. He made it happen for him. No buybacks. That's it. Dear Lord, that was beautiful.
They're out of there, and what does it again? It's a little observer worth there on the river that lets Nisha grab that game-winning chrono. It's oh. one thing to cast your spells, but in order to do it, you gotta see the other guy. <laughs> oh. What more can you say after a game like that? Team Secret getting the adoration from the crowd. Shanghai loves these guys. Shanghai loves the big spells, and I don't blame them. A hell of a game to watch, and a great way to send us towards that game three, as Puppy is going to march back.